What's up guys? This is that really gross guy. We are back with our custom Minecraft map and this is just outside of town. This is the place that I showed you guys last episode where the uh, the minecart comes up to this little storage facility and I think I've showed you basically these few little locations here. So with uh, with that done I pretty much got at least uh, for now well, the uh, the this little part of town uh, finished off it's kind of like a little outpost I guess and I'll show you you can see up there kind of what I'm talking about uh, but that'll probably be the last thing I show you guys that is basically the outlook uh, for like an outpost to kind of see you know maybe an enemy invasion and like the first initial line of defense for the town but uh, I showed you guys this house last time and I believe this one back here if not here's a quick look inside but pretty basic just enough to uh, pretty much every house has those things in it just enough to kind of give our player and a little bit of coziness for you know the villagers obviously they don't care but kind of bring some realism in there but right here we have another little blacksmith type area maybe a little bit of a shop kind of a deal we've got ourselves our furni in the back just like that there's a good what uh 12 furnaces back here we've got the brewing stand this little cauldron with water in it uh, and a chest basically give it the feel of like an enclosed uh maybe a shop or a little uh, smithing area for our adventurer um, but we got this little little thingy here oops this little thing right here to kind of block everyone in maybe we'll put a village in in there just to be like a, a little shop like I said and then we work our way around and this goes down to this area uh, which I showed you guys last time I did a little bit extra down here which I will also show you um, but we make our way down here to the left and we've got ourselves just a little house a little basic house kind of nice inside uh, with the with the bookshelves up like that got ourselves a spider that doesn't belong here um, and then we'll make our way back up right here this is the the way down um, actually let's go down this way first so basically I put on a little add-on for this uh, minecart area so that I can potentially put some items in any of these chests and maybe put it on the minecart and send it on its way. Um, I'll show you exactly why these are here because this little house is going to be almost like a mining facility, like a center, uh, maybe a central hub for like a mining area. Um, I'm got to put some things in here, but basically what I have ready are some picks all ready to go. We make our way down and down some more, kind of closed off this, this open area to get into the mining facility. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this turn into its own processing center or mining shaft for, uh, for some goods, some minerals, some, or materials, uh, maybe some, uh, diamonds and gold and all that fun stuff will actually make its way through this building you know maybe up here into some storage chests which I'll have put in and then sent throughout the world via minecart which is pretty cool uh, kind of a little uh, kind of a, a resource gathering area for this wonderful town that we have so far completed and we're going to actually move on over that way and build an area out here and then also over that way we're probably going to have a large set of farmland because the because the the land itself seems almost perfect to be like their central food gathering area so that's probably what that will turn out to be but if you were to come back up here through this way we have ourselves uh, off to the left kind of this cute little um, boat and fishing rod center uh there was another boat over here but uh i believe one of the zombies or something was in the water and bumped it off its path but yeah so i'll put another boat in here actually do i have one nope i pulled it out of the inventory but that's what i'll do i'll put a couple boats out here oh 
Okay. Um, I don't know how that happened. Maybe I'll just put a couple boats in here, like little rental facility. We'll have one out here so people get the general idea. And then if you were to make your way out that way, and there's this little dock, I guess, uh, right here that you can fish off of as well. Kind of a little community dock. Um, this is kind of like almost a private little fishing center uh, that you can fish off of. And then there is a front and back door to this house over here just because it fits in the central path of these two walkways. And right here is this, uh, this bed, kind of a basic little area. I should probably put a few bookshelves in here as well, maybe up in this area. Um, might as well, might as well throw those things in there now. Just do quick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Kind of give it a atmosphere, kind of a, you know, cozy, a little bit more cozy, I think. Um, but yeah, we got that done, and then we will walk in here. I Oh, I actually did fill this one out. I didn't think I actually had this one done, but um, yeah, we got ourselves our cool little enchanting table and our little booth, our din dinner table, if you please, and just a quick crafting furnace and, you know, supply for some water and a chest, of course. And then, yeah, so back door and front door, or depending on how you kind of see it, um, I did put, okay, I put this as the front. Did I do that in the back? Yeah, kind of a little back door. I guess this would be considered the front. Uh, it does have a better view. So yeah, let's consider this the front door. And yeah, zombie. But um, yeah, so that's basically the town itself. Lastly, I wanna show you this, which took me a good hour or two to build up. But this is pretty cool. I definitely enjoyed this. So this is the path up. I'll show you real quick. The back door, I did this little design in the back. Um, could be better, yes, but if I did a better design, I probably should have made it too thick, which I wasn't, or like two, two layers, which I wasn't thinking of. Uh, so I kind of just left it as is. It's a little bit cool. From a distance, you can tell it's textured, I guess. I don't know. But um, like I said, these are my first buildings uh, that I have from playing Minecraft in a long time. We'll go inside, but I do want to show you the outside real quick. Pretty cool. It's almost like this this cliffside outpost so they can see down, maybe see any potential invaders because eventually there will be villages and maybe uh, another whole city uh, out about. So who knows if we could be invaded at some point. So we do have our main tower over there which can see quite a ways out, kind of see that area. This one is pretty unique and it can see out along this area as well. But we'll take you inside, uh, we'll show you kind of the top, kind of a basic, just a fortification, I guess. Um, but we'll take you inside now, and this should be, uh, okay, just wanted to make sure. Uh, so we can go on inside, and what we have are a couple more armor stands. Actually, let's go into, oops, let's go into the resource pack, because I do like these armor sets in the resource pack. So I believe it was realistic. So let's do that. And yeah, so these armors, these are really cool. Actually, I'll give a quick fly around too because it does change the way everything looks. Um, we've got the arrows on in here. We've got the bows. We got the armor set. We got another armor set with this nice little display. There's another one and our swords and our axes set up for this one. And then we make our way down this little path. It did go straight out at first, but then I decided to connect the two. These were two separate little outlooks areas, but let's say our, our soldiers were out here looking out above and they're like, okay, they're doing their patrols and they go, oh, I think someone's over there. And then they can run on over here and be like, oh, yep, yep, I can see them, I can see the enemies, oh, there's some over here too. So they can quickly back and forth, kind of check things out. Um, I did have this kind of hollowed out as well for some storage, but it kind of got a little bit too cluttered. Um, I did kind of want to leave this more flexible to just running back and forth, and I know that even though that was set back, 
Uh, the things in there kind of got closed in, an armor stand or two. Uh, I might find something to set in there, but um, yeah, so that's that's the general idea. Uh, I do have to get rid of all the snow that came in through the roof as I was building it. But yeah, so that's basically the gist of it. A couple little chests tucked away in the corners for maybe a little bit of storage. Maybe some extra arrows will go down in there, but um, yeah, we need to get rid of all this snow. But I'll do all that snow stuff later. But yeah, so that is generally the gist of the town itself. Um, this little area. In time, I might make a path over to like another house over here and maybe maybe put one in over here, but I don't really want to block the view. Uh, I did want to leave this to be kind of a, a a little town. Maybe the soldiers that actually are up in the outpost live out here. But I also, because of this area right here and the caving system that does go below the town, I didn't want to put too many houses over here that would kind of break that sense of it still being kind of dangerous and maybe a, you know a creeper could easily come out of here and blow up any one of these houses so I did kind of want to leave it so that the yeah pop these out I did kind of want to leave it so that the spawns could not necessarily get up to us very easily and you could kind of see what's going on with the spawns and then maybe react to it by coming down here and killing them or I don't know kind of just a a cool little feel to it so it's a little bit dangerous it kind of maybe these can be almost so their own little mines uh, maybe I will put a little mining center over here with some some picks um, maybe maybe I'll have the path come down from here or break off of this come right over and have maybe a little a little area for for uh, pickaxes or another little building like I said with a couple storage chests for some pickaxes but yeah so that's basically the gist of the server it's or the the map so far um, like I said I am uh, here's the quick fly around for the for the resource pack so you can see what I've showed you guys in this episode and how it looks with the resource pack um, obviously there are a bunch of them out there but this one is the realistic pack, and uh, it feels pretty good in this at atmosphere. Um, I mean, I, I build it in vanilla, just because most people will probably be using vanilla, at least more people will be using vanilla than each individual custom pack, so that is that. But basically, like I said, this uh, path out there is going to go to another little village uh, over this way. And then eventually it is going to follow uh, almost like the mountainside over by the coast over here. I kind of already put the minecart system in place, even though I don't know if it works yet. And I didn't build a, uh, a, th a thing around it to protect it from uh, monsters. But then out here, I think with this way the land is, how it goes up and down, kind of old back in the olden days, uh, they used to build... Uh, farms kind of on ridges to uh, I forgot what they called it but it was like a um, they built farms in stages and would farm each section at different times of the the each year so that they wouldn't ruin their soil and uh, yeah so that might be this area this might be like a large homestead three or four houses out here larger houses and just lots of farmland and that would be pretty cool because that will be the central food source for all of these houses over here, which are quite a bit. I think there's like 12 houses or more, or about 12, I think. If you don't include those, I think. So that's even more. So about 15 houses if you include those. And then some food over there for these guys. And all of it is able to be sent by minecart, which is pretty cool. So even if they were to do food and send the food over to here, what they would do is bypass, they'd take whatever they need, and then they would send on the rest of them. It does go up there after all, or so. So yeah, they would grab what they need up here, let, you know, some meat and some vegetables or whatever, and then they would send it on to the next town, and they would take what they need, and then they'd send it on over here. 
but they can also over here send it on that way they can take what they need and then send it this way so it all kind of works out depending on what's going which way kind of cool it's i mean obviously with it being one player um if you're going to download it for custom use that's all it really is it's kind of just being a um kind of in-depth kind of a feel to it but if you are going to download it and have multiple people play on the map maybe as a server it's pretty cool to have a community maybe if you have three or four people in this town and then three or four people in another city and they either work together or maybe they fight each other that would be cool but um that's basically the gist of it um i'm also considering just real quick uh, i'm considering lowering all of these because i totally didn't even think about setting those down into the ground which i have been doing throughout the rest of the map i'll probably set these down all into the ground just like this is and the places are over over that way but yeah so i'll probably do that at some point but yeah so basically that's the update on the map i really hope you guys enjoyed i'm having a blast making all of this stuff um I, it's 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 definitely a game that helps your creative side helps you sit down and kind of just just build and just kind of i don't know gets gets things off your mind you do kind of bring on some more things but just go mining and it just things just tend to like just wash away it's pretty cool it's a very creative and very almost soothing game it's got this this uh feel to it this uh therapy i guess but yeah so that is basically it i hope you guys enjoyed if you did it would be awesome if you dropped a like do all the things that most people ask you to do i'm not gonna hound you on that stuff it would be really cool i appreciate you guys every single view i appreciate all of you every subscription everything uh it's great it helps me doing what i enjoy doing but yeah until next time guys